All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and tonight I actually have my co-host back here with me, um, Freddie Valente, a.k.a. Freddie the Ref, a.k.a. Florida Freddie, because, uh, yeah, 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 you know who the hell you are. And- I like, I like. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I'm going to start putting that on the back of my jerseys. Yeah, you should. You should. You should. You should put it all on there. Maybe somebody will recognize you. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. We'll give our shout outs here in a minute. But Freddie's actually holding his uh, copies that he got from John Armadilla of the yes. history of paintball. And uh, I got my copies last week. And I watched the first, there you go. And I watched the first two. Uh, John's actually going to be on our show here in the next few weeks. And, uh, yep. And anyhow, uh, yeah, I watched the first two. I haven't got to the third one yet, but uh, the first two have been very good. It, it's put oh, together well, very, very well. I just watch it to see yourself. Well, besides that, I actually skipped over my parts. I was interested in everybody else. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, mean that, I can't remember if I was in there or not. Um, I think you were. I think you were the guy carrying the water bottles. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure that's who you were. Thumb is in there. I think I went like this with the camera. You, might- you did. That's right. You were sneaking in there. That was pretty cool the way you did it, though. I got to give a, you credit, man. That's a Freddy the Ref thumb. Did you, <laughs> did you get your patch? I got my patch, too. Pretty cool patch, huh? It is a cool patch. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I got two of them. I can't figure out what the second one's for. I guess the other sleeve. Oh, you got two of them? No, I only got one. I just messed with you. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyhow, I'm going to give my shout outs here real quick, like I always do every week. You know, these are the people that I mention here. Um, you know, I'm going to put Andy on this group here pretty soon. Uh, Andy's still a kid, but he's a pretty cool kid. Um, but, uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, I give shout outs to, to guys. It actually, I consider built this sport and worked their butts off a long, long time ago to really make it what it is today. And we're going to start with Mr. Tim Schloss. Uh, Tim, longtime friend of mine, uh, sponsor for years, just an absolutely terrific person. Uh, Tim has Gateway Paintball there in St. Louis. And, I, and uh, we're going to have Mr. William Bailey on here in a while. And Bill got to go check it out a few weeks ago, and Bill said it was just great. So, you know, Tim calls me up and tells me it's great. But, you know, Freddie calls me up and tells me how great he is, too. And, and, and you know, I got to I gotta have somebody else tell me. <laughs> I am great. See, I told everybody. I just told everybody, man. <laughs> right on, brother. Right on. And then we're going to go right away to Mr. Dan and Mr. John Colby. Obviously, immortal error. Uh, Dan and I go way, way way back and uh now i'll go ahead i just want to say real quick so i was at disney world like a couple of weeks ago and walking around disney world i was sporting my immortal air t-shirt i was like showing it off to all the people in disney so you're the good there you go that's what we like publicity it's all about publicity you know that's dan was there how many years ago yeah yeah the ESPN thing? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, everything that we did back then. I guess they tore the whole damn thing down. Now they got a Star Wars or something there, huh? We'll we'll talk about that in a little bit. No, we won't, because you know Star Wars and uh, Baby Yoda and all that stuff I is. We'll talk about that. <laughs> oh man, I see a tear in your eye. I love it. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, Mr. Dan and Mr. John Colby, just uh, terrific guys. Dan and I friends for a hundred years and um i consider him like a brother i wouldn't trade him for absolutely anybody just a great guy and people who watch our show and and that i've known for years and and have nothing but total respect for we're going to start with mr bud or but or war game products um i guess if you don't know bud obviously you were raised, raised in a cave i'm not i'm not really sure but uh and mr tom k tom made the automag you know um those are probably back in the day. Those were the two most popular tournament guns at the war: uh, the Automag and, and uh, Bud's uh, Auto Cocker. So, just terrific. And I want to mention Mr. Rainey and Juvie Boucher. They had paintball news back in the day. 
you know, these are guys, uh, a guy and a lady, excuse me, um, you know, that they, they put out a, a paper every two weeks and they sent them out free. Now, obviously, the advertisers are the ones that uh, put the money out to do it. But these guys took the time and commitment to do it, to keep everybody informed about what was going on, not only across the United States, but across the pond, too, what was going on with paintball. So I have nothing but total respect for them. Um, and uh, I was their West Coast editor for years. And I just want to uh, give a shout out to them. And then Randy Camilla, APG. Action Pursuit Games. Randy, uh, very soft-spoken guy. Randy was also on my television show with me and uh, just a terrific guy. Actually, Randy is the very first person that gave me a cover shot. So um, I absolutely loved it. And uh, I'm grateful to him. And Jerry Braun, Jerry owned Paintball News, Paintball Sports, I mean. And uh, Jerry still has a field uh, that Kevin kind of takes care of everything there. You know, Kevin's, uh, we'll call Kevin the gatekeeper uh, because uh, Kevin Donaldson just kind of runs everything. You know, Jerry does what he does best. He looks important, you know, <laughs> and 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 that that's a good thing. And uh, Jerry, Jerry's a good guy. Oh, Chick Estrada. You know, Chick Estrada, let me tell you guys, every time I start my show, this guy pops up right away. What a terrific person, you know. Chica. I'm sure you can hear me because obviously you're watching. Um, but, hey, we want to have you on the show some night. And Kenny Stewart, hello to you too, buddy. We appreciate it. And I want to give a, a shout-out tonight for Bambi Bullard. Uh, Bambi, uh, she had an operation a couple of weeks ago, and I guess she's kind of kind of down in the dumps. I guess uh, I don't know if it's an infection or what's going on. But, Bambi, uh, you know, all of us out here are praying for you. Uh, we just want you to get better. And the same goes for Art Gonzalez. Art Gonzalez uh, lives down in Southern California. Art, nothing short of a terrific friend and a very, very loyal constant pursuit player for years and years and years. Um, Art had an accident and uh, he was uh, paralyzed from the waist down. And uh, he went into racing bikes and, you know, Art's one of these tough guys to just, he just never quits, never gives up on anything. So, I know he's listening tonight. I talked to him earlier, and uh, I obviously want to give a shout out to him. Just a, a great guy, period. So now, uh, one more thing real quick. I want to talk about uh, Rick Rico Fernandez, got the 10 man, the Florida 10 man. I, I Wow, I knew that was coming, Freddie. <laughs> I'd give you anything if you were sitting alongside me. We didn't have this lag. I like cutting into you when you're right here and, and vice versa when you cut into me, you know. So, but anyhow, um, yeah, that is going to be, uh, I believe it's January 16th and 17th. Um, you can get on www.fl10man, uh, that's florida10man.com to get the uh, What's going on with that? You know, uh, Rico's a great guy. We've had Rico on a few times, and um, he's just a great guy. A am I right, Freddie? Yeah, he is. I, I really enjoy talking to him. I mean, not only that, he's a Florida boy. I mean, come on. we got to stick together, us East Coast guys. And, uh, yeah. He's oh. <laughs> Here it nope. goes. Here it goes. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, I can see William Bailey. I got William Bailey sitting in the green room right here, man, and he's jumping at the bit. He's ready to to jump right down the East Coast here, baby. Because you know, Kevin, anybody that doesn't know, you know, Kevin Donaldson and I are are working on uh, having an East West game next year, and we're going to have it at Tim Schloss's uh, field. Yeah, I know you're going to play for the East Coast now. Yeah, you what? I have to. You have to. Yeah, I know. I got to. Uh, I got to do my mama right. Yeah, I got you. You know, well, you know, you couldn't be with a better guy. You know, I mean, Kevin's a great guy. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I don't want any tears in your eyes when, when the West Coast whips you guys. So Sorry, that's you're breaking up. Uh, I'm, I'm losing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you broke up the minute you got on that plane and left, you dog. <laughs> California was on fire. I didn't want to be a part of that. Yeah, well, all the fires are out. You coming back? Uh, yeah, that's I what I thought. Breaking up. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, and then next week, um, real quick, before I, I forget all of this, next week we're going to have on uh, J.D. Hanu Fox. Um, they're going to have a big game down at Satcon Village. I believe it's December 
fifth or something like that. You might want to check because I'm a little little off on my dates most of the time. And uh, anyhow, um, all the time. Go ahead, say it, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, uh, Hannah Fox is going to be uh, one of the generals there, and Tommy Cole, we're going to try to get Tommy, um, they're going to be on next Sunday, uh, next Sunday, next Tuesday at uh, our regular time here at 7 o'clock Pacific time, and uh, we're looking forward to that, you know, um, it, that should be pretty cool, those are two real good guys, I just met Hanu and uh, really like him. Him and I have been going back and forth. He's a pretty cool guy. And, you know, Tommy and I, Tommy and I go back 150 years. Uh, we used to butt heads all the time back there, bad company and constant pursuit. And Tommy's a great guy. And um, I, I look forward to that. That that should be uh, pretty cool. Uh, Chica Strada, West Coast is best coast. Oh, I like that guy more and more and more. I got to oh. tell you. <laughs> Yeah, you know you're 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 talking too much. Chico, <laughs> yeah. he what? I said, me and Chico are gonna have to have a little conversation. Oh yeah, why? Because he's right. You know what? I tell you what. Let's you know. I in in the green room, I've got uh, some just terrific people. You know, I got Andy Sturette. Andy, uh, he runs the Ellie Foundation, and he runs a lot of things. You know, um, Andy's a, a very very good guy. And um, I guess, as, as Steve McGuire says, he also runs his mouth. So, you know, but uh, we're not going to have Steve on tonight because of that. You know, I, I told him we're not going to have anybody on that's going to badmouth Andy. So, you know, Steve, you can stay in the bathroom. And, and, Steve, and Steve doesn't run his mouth. He's, he's still crying about the what the, the chicken and waffles or whatever the hell it is. I mean, great, uh, biscuits and gravy. You know, I felt bad. I felt bad about him teasing you. When he teased you, I felt bad about that. I mean, I couldn't say nothing, but I felt bad. Not so bad, you know. We have we have biscuits and gravy over here in this country. Oh, um, oh, oh! Now he's probably got a tear in his eye. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, we're going to bring Andy up here real quick. Andy, um, he's got a friend there with him. Uh, they gave him. Uh, Andy gets all this cool stuff free. You know, I. I'm not going to get into how, but you know, it's just uh, it, it's pretty cool, and he, he's a great guy. So, without further ado, Mr. Andy Sturette, if I get it right, come on. How come he's not pulling up, Freddie? Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. There All we right. You know, Andy, that's the best I've seen you look, buddy. <laughs> well, you know, we're sitting here uh, close to each other, so uh, we figured you have to wear a mask, right? Yeah. We've got to keep that social distancing protocol in place. Exactly. Oh, what better mask could you wear either, huh? That's <laughs> right. The rules don't say what kind of mask. It just says it's wear a mask. mask. <laughs> well, you look great, Andy. Uh, Andy, you, first of all, uh, well, you can't tell who's who. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Yours, yours, you got the pointed head, and, oh, and your buddy's wow. just round. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we, we, we picked up on that. <laughs> He picked up on that. Not <laughs> like you, Andy. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah. We have my right back to right here. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, tell us who you got there with you tonight, Andy. Well, most people know him as Bob. <clears throat> Hank. Hank, Steve, John. Whatever I'm you want to man of many names. Hollywood, since you're out in California. His nickname's Hollywood for you old uh, MPPL guys. This is actually Tom Boot. Who's the co-captain of the uh, Expendables, and he's with the Elliot Member Foundation as well. So I said I'd bring him in since Steve's he not even, here. I can't even say co-founder. Co-founder, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I got five thousand things going on in my head at once with this event coming up this weekend. I'm still sitting there like, oh my god, I got to do this, do that. Yeah, we're oh, going to talk about that event in a few minutes too. Yeah. So, why don't you go ahead and show us uh, what you got? You're the oh, man with many toys. Oh, no. my, my new, my new toy. Yeah. So, I mean, Andy's been shooting it for for a little bit, but I was finally able to pick up um, my own Clone Five Mac Dev. Yeah. Uh, so, That's with the Allie Ray Foundation logo on there. Yeah, but you know, show the other side. Teammates. Go ahead. When you have teammates that uh, are friends, and you guys have been around a long time, like the two of us have. And, and Tom's with me. He's the one that's kept me sane 
uh, through dealing with uh, Ellie's murder and getting everything started. And it's kind of what it keeps me in check because I'm the one that's going about a thousand miles a minute. God, no, try. Like sitting there jamming on the foot pedal. <laughs> on the passenger to seat, you, know, you know how it is. You know, the, the, the passenger seat and you got to pump the brakes. So uh, on the other side, he actually put Ali's uh, favorite slogan on there. Which, uh, oh, it had me in tears this afternoon. When I, I tell you, it. when I picked it up from the, the engravers today, um, this was something that I was doing that only one other person knew I was doing this, and that was my wife because I was designing it with her when when I when I got this, yeah. uh, I took it to, you know, the guys who've done my laser engraving for my firearms and things like that. And, uh, um, when I opened the box up today and when I picked it up and, uh, you know, because it sits like this, you know, when you open the box up, that's the first thing you see. Oh, you know, wow. I, was, I was almost choking back the tears myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Ooh, man, it can. <laughs> that's you, very, you, very you know, cool. Very, very good. nice looking. You're going to shoot it, Andy. No, I've got a couple he's of guys hanging on the wall right there that yeah. I'll say I remembered on the man. He's, he's I'll probably shoot it. that one too, just because he shot mine. So I'll shoot his. That's only know. fair. We share. <laughs> Swap everything but spit. No, no, mm. that's probably happened before too. So how long have you guys known each other? Uh, probably since I started playing in 2004. Yeah. That's when I started playing when I started the sport. So mm -hmm. about that long. He's a newbie. Yeah. Compared to you guys, yeah, yeah. 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 That hurt, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Andy sent me a picture the other day. What's that? Andy, that? That picture you sent me the other day that has you in it, doesn't it? The one of you and me uh, out there in uh, St. Louis, sure. back in uh, what? yeah. Who, who are the other guys? Do you remember? <laughs> 1885. So I think that was a civil war. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the one I think when we took Daryl out. Wasn't that the third one? Yeah. That was the third one, I think, when we beat Daryl. Yeah. Oh, you were on my team, huh? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Who are the other guys in the picture? Do you remember? Oh, God. It depends on which game. Abe Lincoln. Sam. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I got a picture of Andy coming off the arc. <laughs> there was two of them. <laughs> in, 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 in all life, he's, he's actually only like a year and like a week older than me. <laughs> that's true. Oh, I am the old guy on the team, but that's all right. Well, there you, well, you know, a year's a year, buddy. Heck, I'd take a year back any day. You know that. Yeah, because if I remember right, that game we were still muzzle loading uh, <laughs> markers to take shot. Because I remember you had to sit there and push the ball in the barrel and then get your squeegee <laughs> out. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you were the one to the back going, ready, aim, fire. <laughs> I think you were the one to pull my coonskin cap off, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. <laughs> Greg, weren't you just you shot? I like that raccoon. What are you talking about? That was great. <laughs> What'd you say, Freddie? I said, weren't you using a slingshot? <laughs> yeah, I've actually got that on the wall, just like he has his markers. That's right. The French signature slingshot. <laughs> it, was a, it was a signature series. I whittled it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Wally was in the bunker. Oh yeah. in the middle of the game. That's fast. That's super fast. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's, yeah, that's impressive. So you got something coming up this uh, rubber stretchy part of it. Oh. That was that was impressive. Well, yeah, that was my garter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember? I couldn't run anymore because I had the slingshot, but my socks kept falling down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Freddy's dying. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, you got something coming up this weekend, don't you? We do. We do. Go ahead. Hear about it. I, I, I talked last time. You can talk this time. <laughs> oh wow! So, hey, jump right in if you get a chance like that. Believe me. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I'll never be able to speak again because you just. Anyway, so we've got uh, it's the longest running event, uh, paintball event in Colorado, to my knowledge. And it's the 16th annual uh, autism event, uh, charity event, uh, held at Dynamic Paintball and Airsoft. Uh, yep. Something that uh, long before the Expendables and in, in the Alley Remembered came around, uh, my team, uh, the Mile High Outlaws, we were a part of that. You know, 16 years ago, um, going out there, it started out as a as a tournament 
you know, series. Um, mm-hmm. And until this year, this year, they kind of changed the, the page and kind of did something that we did with our Alley Remembered Foundation charity event, and we turned it into a big game event. Not a big game as in missions and, and that kind of stuff, just a giant rec ball day for everybody to come out and have fun. Although, on the other hand, we that still had some people. In fact, I probably have a three-man tournament going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We had a plan. We had a plan of what we were doing, and well, yeah, a plan. <laughs> I can pick up on that pumping the brakes, uh, pumping the brakes action and stuff. It was just, oh, we're doing that now. Oh, yeah, now we got it. Oh, okay. Three man, five, five, yeah. Five, so five, we decided to come out. You know, a lot of folks still wanted to have the little bit of the tournament and play. You know, a little bit of the speedball action uh, out there. So we decided to do a mini tournament. Capped it uh, eight, six teams. It was eight six. Teams. It was six. It, it was six. It was six. Saturday, and then know. a week later, it was eight teams. Eight teams per division. Capped out. Uh, wanted to make it a mechanical event, so you've got the the young kids out there with their spiders or titmans that want to jump in involved on this one. They can as well uh, right. to the to the open kind of class players, mm-hmm. uh, but still keeping it in the mechanical. We threw it at if you want to shoot your your e marker five point five baby, okay. and uh, make it along. You know, just 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 have a little fun. No prizes, no no big giant trophies. Cool. This is bragging rights. You come out here, you know, bring, bring your uh, bring your game and uh, just just have some fun with it. Right, but it's you know, so that's what I you have this, to set limit to five because you can't shoot more than four a second. Yes. Oh man. So you're going to cap it at ten now? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> you know, big games. I, I I can't even tell you. I like I said, I played tournament for a lot of years, but the big games, I. I just would get excited when I'd fly in to do those because there was really no pressure. It was just all about meeting new people and having a great, great time. And, you know, yeah. to do it, to do it for what you guys are doing it for, to raise some money for that, I think is just terrific. It's a little bit, you know, switching gears for us because normally it's domestic violence work, but uh, right. well, we've, we've, we've been friends with, with uh, Mike, uh, the owner of dynamic, uh, you know, for forever, <laughs> forever. Um, he's helped us out and, you know, we were able to play uh, our event at his field as well. Um, and we're just, you know, sharing the love back to him and helping him with uh, with his event and having our crew out there, uh, helping the young players and, and the new kids that are out there, maybe for their first time, uh, like we normally do, mm-hmm. uh, and just have a, making them have a, a great experience. Well, this is okay. awesome. Go ahead. This is for autism, correct? Yeah, it is for autism. Yeah, Mike's son actually uh, is is uh, is autistic, autistic. Um, and uh, I think he's turning eighteen now. Uh, well, or he just turned eighteen. Yeah. Well, uh, let, let, let me thank you too for for this because my son has got Asperger's, which is a f- form of autism. Yeah, close, yeah. So yeah, thank you. For- we'll be. Oh. Uh, oh, you're welcome. We'll be going um, live with that guy we all know up in Canada. <laughs> oh, this guy. Bob Moose Knuckle, yeah, uh, I don't popular. Know. Nobody knows. He knows who he is. Paintball. Who likes chicken and waffles? Chicken and waffles, really, Freddie? <laughs> <That's laughs> <too> gravy, bro. <laughs> yeah, and gravy. It's either chicken and waffles or biscuits and gravy. I think it was <laughs> gravy. You can't get biscuits and gravy in in, in Canada, apparently. Well, I know. But, of course- Steve said he drives everywhere to find it. Yeah, he says yeah. Yeah. going to get the, the United States to get it. He says he can't find it anywhere in Canada. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every time he's been here with us, man, that's one of the few places we like. We have to go hit some chick. You know, see now you got me saying it. <laughs> Chicken and waffles, <laughs> biscuits and gravy. Yeah, no, we'll yeah. be taking him out at the World Cup. We'll, we'll let Fred take him out. You'll probably be there too, Freddie. So yeah, you too can go take him out for biscuits and gravy, and I can have some <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing when you set your sights low like that. It always works out, you know. So, so low. <laughs> so low. Well, uh, he's going to go live um, at the event. So we're right, going to set it up. Yeah. He's going to go on the popular unknown paintball podcast. Um, Very cool. Live. We're, we're going to try to get a hold of uh, Robert Pinella. Am I saying that right? Pinella. Jesus. Whatever it is. Um, runs the uh, uh, paintballers for the puzzle. Yeah. 
Yeah, Pam Bolger with Puzzle. Uh, I was going to get them on and not have a couple other guests, but we'll be live from the event on uh, Saturday because part of what we're doing to you know, raise money, uh, we're going to raffle off this guy. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna... hey, why not? We do have a we do have a thank you, Mac Dev, uh, right. by the way, uh, for giving us a, a clone five, a clone five to raffle off. I do believe it's complete with a couple other goodies. It's uh, coming with one of those. Um... Anyway, <laughs> might be a mortal air uh, tank on it, and of course, our other big sponsors, Virtue. So there's going to be a control uh, hopper coming Dude, with this thing, order. too. Yeah. Nice. So anybody wow. that's not at the event or outside Colorado, if you guys want to, you know, pitch in and help, you can go to the Expendables Facebook page. You can go to the Dynamic People and Airsoft Facebook page. Or you can just go to allyremembered.org um, to make it simple and use our, don or our donation page and everything that comes in um from last week through what's coming is all going to oh, the no. autism thing so oh, you don't want to do PayPal off of the Facebook stuff just go to allyremember.org hit the donate up at the top it'll take you there and there's a PayPal option and a credit card option you can put in a donation and we will give all those over uh, at the game and if people, I know he's going to kill me because I've already put this out on the internet. <laughs> I'm like, what, what would happen now? No. Nah, nah, nah. um, <laughs> if you guys, anybody that wants to get in on the raffle for that, you can too. So if you use the for PayPal, if you go to expendables underscore PayPal, um, or just go back to the other member website either way, and you want to buy raffle tickets, it's... One ticket for five bucks, two for eight bucks. We decided we just, you know, play, let's make a deal. If you buy them online and use like the PayPal or something, they'll come in. We will take your name. Yep. And we've got raffle tickets right here. I will take the number. I will put it onto an Excel spreadsheet so we don't lose it. We'll throw the thing in the bucket. We'll send out a quick email that's got your uh, raffle numbers on it. And then uh, we can watch the spreadsheet instead of Tom having to sit here and go through a whole roll of tickets to find the winner. Um, yeah. We'll have it all just easily recorded. So if anybody wants to get in, or if you just want to go make a donation uh, for autism, you can just do that too. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll take everybody's money, even including Fred's. Very, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Hey, I've donated to you a few times. Yeah, that's true. And then I violated your jacket, and then Steve okay. violated your jacket. Well, you know, you you weren't so bad, but you know, William finally got it, and he said it now it smells like bacon. So you know, Steve had it last, and maple syrup. I I can't figure it out. You know, <laughs> greasy and sticky. Wow, that does describe Steve, dude. Don't it? <laughs> yeah, well, biscuits and gravy. Yeah, I love the guy. Yeah, I just talked to him earlier too. He's uh. He's a cool guy. You know, Steve and I actually have something going here pretty soon. Uh, we'll let everybody know about it someday. But uh, we have something that we're, we're trying to cook up ourselves, too. So, and yeah, Freddie, you'll get you'll get to ride along. So Yeah, but I don't think Tiger Stripe depends that come with the speed loader built in. I'm telling you, they, really well. <laughs> hey, they might not have a speed loader, but I got to tell you, they don't drip. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Why that's what I always used to say to Freddie. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> I, I go, Freddie, why are your pants so bulgy? He goes, that depends. I go, oh. <laughs> yeah, now I understand. You know, the new logo is these stripes don't run. So there you go, Freddie. <laughs> oh, there you are. Well, you stayed up all night to think of that. You know what? <laughs> I got to tell you. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> hey, uh, we got uh, Uncle Kevin Donaldson and uh, Mr. Bailey here in the green room. What do you say we pull it out and really make this a madhouse? Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Bring on Bill. There yes, is Bill. Mr. Oh. Kevin. And here is ah, Mr. Bill. Is. What's up? <laughs> oh. Welcome, guys. What's yeah, happening, you know, guys? We, we we started teasing Steve, so I figured we better get Bill on here quick. Yeah, you know, we like to get your digs in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish he was here. <laughs> he was going to be, but when I told him the lineup was, he said, "No way." Uh, 
horrible. It is. Oh, so, Kevin, what's God. going on in your area, buddy? Uh, same old thing, Freddie. Same old. No thing. storms tonight. Uh, yesterday, but gone today. We're good. Just uh, starting cool. to get cold. That's all. Just starting to get cold. Winter's coming. Yeah, you're still stuck in the house, aren't you, Kev? What's that? You're still stuck in the house quarantining, aren't you? Yeah, eight days now. Oh, man. A few more uh, to go. Wow. Okay. How, how do they keep an eye on you? They don't. I fly <laughs> under the radar. <laughs> So you, you've got eight more days to figure out when you're going to have the East versus West game at Tim's Field then? I'm already working on it. I'm waiting on Tom Cole to give me some dates on what's going on with the NXL and the ICPL. Well, and think, uh, uh, then I'll be able to nail that down. But, you know, Tommy, Tommy's got to give me some dates. Yeah, because we don't want to step on anybody's toes. And, uh, you know, we got all kinds of people who want to go to this damn thing, believe me. And so we don't want it to interfere with anything else either. No. Well, you know, also, you know, it, it, it'll stop the amount of players I get because most of the guys that probably going to run with me are playing either the ICPL or the uh, NXL. Hey, hey, Fred, that's that's the excuse he's going to use anyway when he loses. <laughs> oh, oh, they've been working on him. They've been working on him. I, I guess he's got a list he's putting on toilet paper it's so long. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. So I, question, are we – Mechanical, or are we going to go electro? Um, you know, I'm going to leave that up to Kevin, but probably should be mechanical. I do anything oh, goes. Mechanical would be fun. Yeah. Anything goes. No, no like cannons, the Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the big game guys are going to want first strike and all of that no. crap. Too, you know? ah. No, 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 they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. Good, because <laughs> I Most sure don't. Yeah, most of those fields around, they they don't allow for strikes. I guess it depends on who the insurer is, right? Yeah, that, yeah. And uh, people just complain and just seeing seeing what they do sometimes. It's I know people say, well, I've seen worse with the regular paint, but you know, that's oh. something you can stop. You know, there's that's no point bullshit. in it. Those yeah. things hurt. I know they those do. Things, you know, and they're so friggin' accurate, it's like I've been shot in the head by those way too many times. Yep, I, I, I was I was with I was with Bud. And we were playing and uh, we we're pushing one side of the field, and all of a sudden he's like, "What the heck?" He 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 got grazed right underneath the the goggle, and he just had blood pouring out of the side of his face. Wow. And uh, I had to grab a you know toilet paper or whatever we had, you know paper towels, and you know and he got it all cleaned up. But you know it just no sense in it. You know, it's it, 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 you know, if they just want to play with them and that's it, let, let them go do their own thing. Uh, you I know, so. you know, like, yeah. Yeah. We just, yeah. We're, you know, I, I've been in a lot of big games and, uh, I, yeah. I put a lot of them on too. And I want this, I'm sure just like Kevin does to be a fun time. You know, yep. we want to have a great, great day of paintball and then a great barbecue afterwards and just everybody sit around and, and just have a terrific time. So we don't want any anything that's going to interfere with that, something like the first mm -hmm. strike at all. So yeah. yeah. Make it mechanical, put everybody in the same plane, plane level, and then have, have a bunch of fun. That's what I yeah, say. We do mechanical mechanical 5.5 if that's what we want to do. Yeah. You know, what do you I think, mean, you Andy? Can't just make it strictly mechanical. Yeah. yeah thing that I know, because I don't have to think, is that uh, the Schultz side's going to win. Oh, you know, I like you more and more every damn week. I got to tell you. Did I tell well, you you're I my favorite? I haven't lost a big game playing with you yet. I don't you know, plan to start against Kevin right now. Yeah. I, <laughs> wish I, could, I, I wish I could show that picture. Did you say oh. west or south? <laughs> He <laughs> said the shoulder side. Adam, Bill, <laughs> you know, like the wild, wild west. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You need new earbuds. Okay. <laughs> I know, I do. Bad. Maybe I'm I need to clean my ears out. Just, yeah. Andy, do you have that picture of us? Give me inside. It's a, over here with us. Okay. Uh, Andy, do yeah. you have that picture, yeah. Andy? Do you have that picture? Do I have a picture of that one? Yeah. You know, of you and I back in the day. I wanted to show everybody that. Yeah, it's the one with Fred that had hair. 
It's, it's actually a oh. picture of a picture. Oh, here. man, it took you a long time to get to that, didn't it? <laughs> I've been practicing. Yeah, you have. Good thing I was looking down. I'd have missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, it's good to have you back, though, Freddie. You know, uh, we didn't have mine last week because, uh, obviously, Freddie's uncle passed away. And, um, obviously, our condolences to the whole family. Oh, that one? Oh, yeah, you got it. Now, I just finally got it, too. That's one of them. Let me see here. Like I said, Look how young Fred was. My God. I know. Check it out, guys. He was all suave and done <laughs> yeah, Wearing like a tuxedo. Jacket. <laughs> yeah, we all had hair then. Yeah, I, I remember you then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's what's good about these damn pictures. I look at them and think, that's how it used to be. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> it's not funny, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you guys see the marker that Andy got? Yeah. Yeah, it looks you nice. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Andy, hold it up there one more time. Could you do that? Looks like Tom's. That's no. Yeah, yeah, let him let, let him hold it up. Just a clone Beautiful. Vibe. But then we yep. had in the other side. Check it out. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That is awesome. I do like that. Isn't that gorgeous? That was a great job. And and you had that engraved, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. One of our local shops here. Uh he's a, a firearms dealer here in, in town. I'll give a I'll give a shout out to Damage Factory. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Go ahead, do it. Yeah. And Ken. <laughs> um, yeah, he did it. He did it for me. Yeah, it's a beautiful job. You know, and it, especially, you know, you want to take this somebody where you know it's going to be done right because it's not a cheap piece of metal there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing like getting it over, you know, a new market. Well, I mean, he does them on, on you know, firearms. So people are, you know, thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar, you know, firearms and having them laser engraved stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put that kind of money out. Absolutely. Hey, I want to give a shout out real quick to Mark Gong. Mark says hi. Christopher Winkle says hi. Oh, um, wait. Jessica Schultz. Oh, you know yeah. him? Of course I do. He plays for me. Oh. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Winkle, Chris Winkle's one of the blasters. Yeah. Why, why oh, did you say hi, I know Fred. Mark Gong. <laughs> and I know your daughter, Jessica. So hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, well, we, we're going to get one of these done for you, Freddie, except... Uh, it's going to say, point this direction with an arrow, and we'll put it all the way down the barrel here, so you know which way to point it to shoot. I don't want you missing anything when Kevin's coming down the field. Oh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Matter of fact, I'll probably play with this bad boy here. Oh, there you go. Break out the, there break you out go. the bush, man. Okay. Yeah, that, hey, that, you, I, you, won't be, you won't be playing with that. You're not going to no. be playing with that. My first professional tournament was with this if, guy. If you, if, you, if you play with that gun, you won't get a ball out of it. <laughs> hey, and and I'm, not talking, I'm, not you down. I'm not putting you down, Fred, but the paint's got so small that any of those old markers, you can't right use out. The minute you point the, the barrel down, the ball falls out, you know? Hey, right. Kevin. Right. Kevin, that's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Hey, Kevin, in two more years, we'll be able to use SMG 60s again. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> that's a good one. You know, like, like they say, that's Richmond Italia getting us to 50 cal one millimeter at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that sucks, too, when your balls get small like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you well, know, we, you? <laughs> we know all about that at our age, Fred. <laughs> hey, oh I didn't want to bring that up. I just went through the, I just went through the tiger stripe and pen stuff, you know. <laughs> try, try calculating how much money the industry has saved on gelatin. Yeah, oh, but yeah. you know they passed it on to other uh, consumers, so you know, yeah, yeah. You know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a balancing act. You know, <laughs> it's not like the old days when you bought a case of paint for two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, that's yep. crazy. It absolutely yeah. was. But, you know, well, it, the problem is, too, you know, that's why you get all these barrels now, got all these damn inserts, you know, and that's, that's what it's for. Have have so yeah. what you got to do is take your classic 
historic marker, cut the barrel off, thread it, and have it milled for a, for a barrel back and destroy the marker, you know? <laughs> oh, there you go. So electrician Ow. tape on the inside won't do it, huh? No, nah, nothing. Nothing works. I Big tried playing balls. with my old Carter comp at, a, at one of those vintage games, and I was running around holding the gun up the whole time. <laughs> well they've got guys that are they're milling the barrels if you got the old like the old si you know bushmasters the old z ones you know any any marker that removes the barrel you can have them bored to fit the freak yeah. kits oh yeah aaron carter will do it for you there's still a bunch yeah. of guys out there that'll do yeah. it the point yeah. is is that most of the old stuff are fixed barrel yeah, yeah true yeah. you know at least yeah, everything i have is a fixed barrel yep yeah yeah, Sheridan's like uh, I'm actually playing. Well, no, even the old, old, old Nelson based guns, you didn't have removable yeah. barrels, you know, when they yeah. first came out. Later yeah. generations, you had removable barrels, but yep. yeah, everything was a fixed spot, barrel. I, I still got the callus on my thumb from unscrewing it, man, so I could get the CO2 <laughs> in the damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, one of my old unibody uh, Nell spots, you know, is the unibodies. They, you know, yeah. Couldn't do anything with them. Nope. Nope. Except destroy them. Yeah, but yeah. you know when when they came out, they were the bomb. You yeah. know, I mean, you were using a splat master, and you'd seen this, and it was made of metal, not plastic. You were the bad guy on the block. Now, when you had one of these, yeah. I, I'm in the middle of a restoration right now. This is a, a DC-10 nice. Sheridan, and uh, it's going to be pretty bad. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I don't know if most of you guys have probably, wow, well, most of the people have probably never seen nothing like no. that, but. But uh, it's going to be a quite the project when it's ready. Yeah, I got a few of those old. I got a few of those old McMurray and Son apocalypses in my basement. You know. Yep. I think I yeah, got that, two of those. Yeah that that the uh, that marker actually is a McMurray. It's one of the originals. You know, back when they uh, they were using the the BB pistols. Yeah. You know, to make the paintball guns. You know, that's what that's what that one was. Yeah, yeah that's I, I know what that is. You know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so do you, so do you, Bill. Yeah. Oh, you had to buy it from like uh, Tasso, you know, home of the paintball opossum. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not sure that's pretty old. Uh, you gotta love it, yeah. Freddie. You gotta jump in here, buddy. Oh, I'm just listening to the stories, man. I love it. I oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, hey, this is just the ones these guys can tell. I mean, hey, including it, Andy, there's a thousand out there you can't even tell. Freddie's just in awe of all this awesomeness that's surrounding him. I mean, when you look at our stuff, <laughs> Bill on the way, Chuck on the left, and we've got Bill and the kid. He's just yeah. surrounded by awesomeness. Yeah. Yeah. You know, looking, looking at the screen is kind of like a thorn between two roses, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to weigh what words, Andy. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I mean, if I was studying in that situation, I'd be starstruck and just not everything to say there. Absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can you can talk, Freddie. Yeah, you. I, I like how your buddy got your back. I, your head, like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering when Andy talks, you pull your hat down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Kevin, do you know who uh, who actually made this one? Can you see I that? I can't even. I can't even really see it. Looks oh, like a <laughs> Yeah, it's a. Uh, I wow. think it's so like Derringer. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's South South African. Oh yeah, the, yeah, I remember that thing. I don't know what it's called. That little mini thing. Yeah, yeah it runs on a twelve gram. It the, yeah, spring loaded. It, no, it's twelve gram. And it, it, no, but I mean the the balls are spring loaded. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get the actual name of the company. No, you know? I don't remember. I don't. Remember. You know, they said it used to be actually originally a flare gun. And then they modified Converted it. it. Yeah. So it's like, God dang it. I remember that thing when it was around, but <laughs> never interested me. <laughs> no. Well, it's, it's, it's history. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Andy? I said Fred played a tournament with one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh... I did. I used the PGP for, for like three years. <laughs> no, no, no. He met you. He met. I love this. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> right? Yeah. You too. This guy. Uh, yeah, this guy. Well, I got to tell you, ever since we got Andy out of his shell, it's been miserable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, like I went. Okay, so I went to. Speaking of history, I went down to Disney uh, Disney World when I first got to Florida, and I wanted to do like a whole live thing from from the MGM Studios, which is now called the Hollywood Studios, because of where Fred did this show, you know, on on what New York Street, correct? Yep. So I walked around that whole damn park, and I couldn't find New York Street to save my life. So I stopped and I asked somebody, and they were like, "Oh, that's all gone." I'm like, "What do you mean it's all gone?" Yeah, they, they took it down. They said they did. They, yeah, now they put it up uh, that Galaxy's Edge, that Star Wars land, right over the top of it. So wow. Sorry, Fred. Yeah, that's they liked you. Well, you know, Mark Gong went there uh, before they tore it down just a few years ago, and then he, when he came back, he told me he said you could still see where the paintballs because you know a lot of the the buildings <laughs> obviously they're facades and they're they're foam. And yeah. he said you could still see where we blew the foam off that place <laughs> and everything. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> now, I got to tell you, if you were there, it was incredible because after it was over, there was paintballs. I mean, just paint everywhere. And they brought out the crew. The, the Disney crew came out and cleaned it up. And I'm telling you, they hosed everything down with big hoses and they were done in 15, 20 minutes. You couldn't even tell we were there. And I it bet was, they're still cussing um, you guys too, probably. Yeah. You know, actually, yeah. Well, no, they loved us. They loved it. Matter of fact, I flew home. True story. And my wife just walked away. That's my backup. Anyhow, um, she, I came home. I, I flew back from uh, uh, Orlando and I got in at midnight. And she picked me up at the airport. They, they always had a limo that came and get me and take me back and forth there. And she, she, the limo guy would pick her up here and then take her down there with her. And then I could ride home with her. Well, I get there and she goes, D Disney called us a little while ago and they've got a plane ticket for you to leave. I go, leave. They go, they want you on the flight at 6.30 a.m. I came home. I took a shower, had a bite to eat. And I was right back in the limo going back to the airport to fly down just for pictures. So, uh, yeah, it, it rocked. They, they were very happy with what we did down there. Uh, I, I don't know about blowing the buildings apart, but, you know, <laughs> other than that, they were very, very happy with what we did. So, and, you know, and who else could get Tom Cole? I mean, Tom Cole, uh, Tom K and, and Dan Colby in tights. You'd never get them guys in tights. I did it. I did it. Not and in Tim public. Not, not in public anyway. I've... Oh, they were in public, baby. Believe me. I know. But... <laughs> it was great. Matter of fact, Tom K came out, and that's when that movie, uh, um, Robin Hood, Men, Men in Tights. Yeah, he came out dancing, man. We were all cracking up. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that was a hell of a time. But, yeah, I still got pictures of them guys. And, Dan, like Dan says, don't ever show that to nobody. Don't yeah. ever show that to nobody. <laughs> You'll have to send me that picture, Freddie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's on the Internet. I got it everywhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I didn't send it. I just put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> you ever uh, play that uh, Westworld out there in Phoenix, Fred? No. I, I hear it. Uh, movie studio prop. And, and so, yep, the, the paint you use is it's it's like really soapy. It marks a little bit, but it's it's pretty much just soap. So they can come through and just wash the movie set up. I think the field's still open. You can go check it out. Oh yeah, I might do that. You yeah, know, um, they're having that uh, big game down at SatCon. Uh, I think it's December fourth or fifth. I can't remember what. Uh, we're gonna have Hanu on uh, next week. Uh, he's one of the generals, and Tommy Cole's the other general. Oh, yeah. That's that the yeah. K Nations game, right? The K Nations. Yeah, they yeah. call it. That's an awesome yep. game. That is an awesome, yeah. awesome I, big game. Yeah, I'm looking got, forward to going down and doing that. I got to walk through their Fallujah city, and it's pretty cool. There's a lot of conics boxes and cars, and a couple temples, and it's yeah, it brings you back when you're there. It's like holy. Yeah, crap. they got they got they got a nice setup down there. They yeah. really do. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward. I haven't seen it in years. I used to play it a long, long time ago, so I'm looking forward to going down and doing it. But that should be a pretty good time. Um, we're going to have a uh, Hanuwan next week and and talk about it. So that should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. So I wonder how much of the field they're going to use if they're just going to do a section and keep a section for walk-ons or what's going to happen. No, they use they use most of it. They use like almost everything 
from where they, you know, their pro shop and their fill station is all the way to like the front road, both sides of the, the road that goes through the middle. It's a big game. It's a big game. Yeah. You know, yeah I'm looking forward to people it. with that thing. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't know with COVID what's going to happen, but normally well, you know, a very, very big game. The last few I went to out here uh, in the last few months, man, nobody really gave a damn, to be honest with you. You know, just <laughs> everybody was out there playing, having a good time. Yeah. So, yeah. wasn't that way here in, around Illinois and stuff? It's just everybody just stopped, you know. We, there was yeah, because they'll shoot you there. <laughs> well, we at the ICPL event in Chicago, we went to like split sessions. You had X amount of teams out in the morning, and then teams came in, didn't have to start playing until one, two o'clock. Mm-hmm. Try to keep the you know keep the crowds down. Did they the make hell? you wear masks? Oh no, shit. no, the hell? no, Fred. You don't need masks at a paintball field. Well, I got to tell you, you know, uh, the ones that, that I've went to, some people actually were had them on, and and not that kind of masks. <laughs> Here we go. Well, if you go if you go to Jerry Braun's field, if you go to PSI New York, you might you got to wear a mask too everywhere but on the field. Oh dear. Yeah, but that's uh, Jerry. You know, he's an attorney, so yeah, he's, he's all always conscious of liability. Yeah, plus hey, he's you a missed, liberal, so yeah, I know. You missed, you missed the beginning of the show. <laughs> yeah. And Andy had his mask on when he started the show, and I told him, I said that was the best he'd look. He looked great. <laughs> <laughs> Only had a smile on it; it'd have been terrific. I could paint one on. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. Look at that. Perfect profile, courtesy of virtue. It is. Oh <laughs> man, I gotta tell you. Yeah, you should get a picture of that. You should put that out on the internet. That looks great. <laughs> I'll tell you, we just we just got the team just got a new uh, new sponsor, Push. And yeah. I gotta tell you, those goggles are unbelievable. They are they're the yeah. shit. I wear the push unites. They yeah. really are the shit. You know, I had a bunch of guys on my team that were like, oh, you know, I don't like them. I want to wear my blah, blah, blah. And I said, fine. You know, gave them to them. And they're like, holy shit. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> that is just an unbelievably great product. <laughs> yeah. Kiko and I, uh, Dave Reese Cook from, you know, Iron Dave gave me and Kiko a set of them. And it was the, what was it, the, the special Iron Man pattern. Oh. Right. It was. They're comfortable. I like them. They're They're really, really, really nice. You know. I mean, I've I've been using the die i fours and fives forever, and I mean, not anymore. That's for sure. The nose, the nose piece is adjustable, so you can adjust it to however. It's perfect. It's just a real no fogging or anything. What's really good is that the mask. You know, a lot of times when you're wearing masks, and if you're like like in tournament play, you're communicating all the time. So you get that echo and you hear yourself and it's it's really obnoxious with these things that they're unbelievable. You don't you don't get any of that. Right. Kevin, Kevin, at our age, that's not the mask, the echo that you're hearing. You know, I was just <laughs> gonna bring that up, Andy. Yeah. You gotta readjust those hearing aids. <laughs> I, I tell no Kevin to call aids. me, he doesn't even use a phone, he just goes out on the porch and yells. Yeah, well, you know, you know, I'm loud. On, Hopper on. We love you. On. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't even say it. I, I, I've watched the military. <laughs> Being be the military and still shooting guns and stuff after. Yeah, my hearing's gone too. I mean, fucked on that lawsuit if you were in the military. No, only, be cert- only, in, only in a certain amount of years. Yeah, I've missed yeah. that. Yeah, really. You know, in the eighties, it was you know the earplugs were good. They issued us. <laughs> it was it was after they got. Oh, mad. all we had were cigarette butts. Right. <laughs> if, if you were lucky during a police call, you always put them in your pocket. So you'd have them for when you're at the range. We never had no damn ear I mean, Ear. <laughs> it's like oh. It's kind of the nice thing about a lot of our, our supporters that, that support, you know, our, our foundation and stuff, uh, Push being one of them. I mean, Virtue is one of probably our, our biggest one that we have. Um, we have some other companies as well. So um, between Andy and I, we tend to, you know, wear different stuff. Uh, you know, he's he's wearing the, the, the Virtue, and then I went with uh, some of the contract killer packs and the, uh, the Push Unite. 
you know, mask as well. So that's why I rock. So I, I you know, it's different because I've been a flex seven person for forever. <laughs> so, so going to a, a push was something different. Oh, that's yeah. very cool though. You know, I mean, I, I, I just like it when it gets spread around a little bit. Um, and that's cool that both of you guys do something like that. So you got a lot of people who, that are supporting us. So we, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Well, you know, you want to be fair to them too, because they're being fair to you, you know, yeah, I, I, I still well, have look, a piece I mean, of glass. None of, and duct tape. Products are, none of these products are bad. You know, I mean, it's just yeah. that, you know, especially with, with, with your goggle system. I mean, that's got to fit you just right. You know, yeah. you can't, mm -hmm. Can't be fucking around with that. You know, anything else you can deal with, but you know, yeah. that goggle system has just gotta, you know, you, it's gotta it's, offer the right protection. It's gotta fit you right. You have to be able to see right. Everybody's got a different opinion, but you know, they yeah. they, they obviously, yep. you know, fit everybody differently. So yeah. Yeah. goggles right. yeah, the goggles are your most important yeah, you know, sure. part. Yes. That's most, most important. Well, you guys have got years of experience or between all of us. I mean how many goggle systems have each of us worn in, in the last 20 years? You know? Yeah. I think I've worn three, three, <laughs> not <laughs> counting UVEX. Yeah. UVEX 2000s. There yeah. you go. <laughs> no, seriously, because you know, I've been, as far as my, my time in paintball, I mean, I've been sponsored. I was sponsored by JT for like the first mm -hmm. 15 years and then die. And then, you know, now push. So that's really three sets of goggles that I've ever worn. Yeah. You know, three I wore, manufacturers. I, I wore the Scott. I wore the Scott Badass systems forever. Sorry, Freddie. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I go out on the field to film, I wear my, I, I have like a hybrid mask. My, the lenses are JT, but I have the, uh, the bottom, the, the E-Flex skull bottom. Oh, E-Flex frame, yeah. So, so I, you know. But I love the way the JTs fit on my face, and you know it's comfortable. But when I play, I use I use my my push goggles. So right. I, that those goggles are incredible. The vision in them are is insane. Unbelievable so, the lenses. I mean, I mean the quality is like unreal. You know, yeah. I mean it really like the lenses are amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I might try those. I might, I might try yeah. that out. Uh, yeah, because you know, I, I I was sponsored most of the time by Vince, um, you know, and, and Brass Eagle. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, uh, before that, uh, Marty Trapes and I were good friends, so I did wear Scotts, but I couldn't take a sponsorship from him uh, because uh, I was with Todd all the time. But I did wear the Scott every once in a while, you know. Um, and and you know, when I started, it was a piece of plexiglass and duct tape. So, you know, I mean, I just put that baby <laughs> on and wrap it around. So, you know, when we first started playing, we wore no goggles. And we yeah. had Splatmasters, and I got to tell you, man, I had all kinds of broken lips and stuff from that. So we were all lucky nobody lost an eye on that. And then we yeah. went and got these cheap-ass goggles, and you'd get hit in a goggle, and it'd slide off on your face, you know. So Yeah, held on with a rubber band. Yeah. Yeah, you were yeah, watching. That's, I, that's the one I'm talking about. Have you vexed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then that other cheaper brand that was even cheaper than Uvex, you know, those 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 green ones. I forget what they were called. They weren't oh, Uvex. Always well. save. And had the funny face mask piece. Yeah, the Woodstalker mask. No, yeah, the Woodstalker. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, they had a funny face passing. Go like this. So and yeah, it's come a long way. Princess ways. Leia. We used to call it, you know, the hood con the head condom. <laughs> that JT made that you pulled over and had the square foam for your ears. Yeah, there you you look like Princess Leia with those funky curls on the side of your head. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did a thing years ago, um, constant pursuit against the Ironman, and it was at the Cow Palace down in San Francisco at at the big boat show. So we went. And we did a, a just a promo paintball game against each other, and that's the first time that I actually wore the um, brass eagle goggles. And I go out there. And first thing Bobby comes up, Bob Long, Bobby comes up to me and he goes, oh, man, that looks like a big ant or something. No, no, they didn't have the zip ties. It was just a round one like this. Oh, yeah, brand new. That gr fact, green and black. I got, was, a, I got about 20 pair of them. I, matter of fact, we wore those when we did the show down at MGM. And when I did the, the show for Road Rolls, oh, we wore those. Oh, I know those. the one. Yeah, I know that black thing that was all molded one piece. Yeah, yeah like that. this. Yeah. 
Yeah, or I, those I got, other shit things, that helmet, Gogs or whatever the hell it was called. <laughs> a fucked Gosh. up helmet with like the, it looked like a motor, cheap shit motorcycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hockey yeah, mask. I, I never yeah. wore nothing like that. Kept, so. Lenses were easy to change. We, we used What's to that? Lee. Lenses were easy to change. Oh, like, yeah. They got shot too, but you know. <laughs> Those old JTs that uh, you use the zip ties to help hold them in place, too. And the original whippersnappers. Like yeah, the yep. whippersnappers. Yep. yep. We used to, like, leave the zip ties super uh -huh. long. Like, there were two yeah, antennas yeah. coming yep. out. It looked like antennas. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep, absolutely it's right. like intimidation factor. <laughs> yeah. It was like a bunch of freaking bugs. <laughs> yeah, John, John was a good guy. Um I always like he he traveled quite a bit with us, John Gregory. John Gregory, yeah. he's a great yeah. guy. Yeah, he, he really guy. was. He he treated me excellent, and I could never be sponsored by him because I was always with somebody else. But he sent us. I, I mean, in fact, my wife wore JTs because uh, he talked her into wearing them. But yeah, he he's a uh, he was a great guy. I really really enjoyed being with him. He was a great <laughs> guy, you know, back then. Yep. yep. You know, you know yep. he was well, but, he was awesome. You remember Marty too, you know. I mean, Marty for Scott, Marty Tripes. Hell, you well, know, Marty, Marty worked for JT before Scott. He left JT. He did. Yep. Went to Scott. yep, he yeah. absolutely did. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And you know, Marty, Marty was a great guy too. I got all kinds of pictures of of him in England messing around. He was funny, you know. He he's like Andy and and Bill right there, you know. I mean, these guys, you you wind them up and let them go, and they're just funny as oh. hell. <laughs> Man, that son of a bitch could snore. Shit. He, he, he played. He played. He played with us as on the sheep one year in England. I guess it was like ninety two or three, and we were in this hotel. And that damn guy was on the other side of the hotel, and you can hear him snore. <laughs> Unbelievable, Marty. I hope you're not watching, but you know. Was that the one at Lord Harry's Field? No, no. Was it Mayhem? Mayhem. Was yeah. Mayhem? Okay. Oh, there yeah. you go. I had to go get my Scots out. There you go. When, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. When, when Marty met Bud, he uh he thought Bud was a doctor, and that was when he was working at JT. And, and so he brought in this big blue JT duffel bag, and it says Dr. Bud Orr on the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> He had it embroidered, and it says Dr. Bud Orr. <laughs> JT was the first sponsor we ever had, the Blasters, besides Jerry Braun. Yeah, that was, the, number, that was right? the first one. That was the first one. It was Marty that, you know, made the deal with us, too. Oh, was it really? Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. Marty that was, was the great. first sponsor, and we stuck with them forever. You know, I never, bought, never, yeah, never I bought. Bugged. I bought a bunch of rental goggles from Scott. This was in like 92 or 93. And uh, they had problems with the plastic, you know, uh, breaking, you know, between the lens. And mm -hmm. yeah, it would just disintegrate. Yep. And uh, I was, I was in the bathrooms talking to some other people. And all of a sudden I hear this guy goes, bring him over to Scott booth. And we'll take care of it for you. It was Marty in there <laughs> yeah. on the shitter. You know, and uh, sure enough, they did. They, you know, they gave me all new stuff. It was really cool. You know, you know, they didn't have to do that, but they did. He just took, you know, took our word for it, and uh, it was, that was just kind of funny. That's something I'll always remember. Is like, yeah, just go to the Scott booth. It just came from the, you know, one of the one of the little compartments. And there he was, like, oh shit. There was so there were so many cool guys back then. I mean, still is, but. I was just going to yeah. say that. Yeah, there really, really was. You know, that's why I mentioned these guys at the beginning. You know, I, I just don't. Yeah. Dan, Dan was telling me a story one time. He says that him and Tommy, <clears throat> Tom K, were, were standing at some big game or something like that. And everybody just kept walking by him. And he says, Tommy looked over at him and goes, Dan, do you think anybody even recognizes us? People were just walking by him, you know, and these are two guys that that not only spent a lot of money and a lot of time, but they took care of a lot of people uh, back oh, yeah. in the day. So, you know, I mean, it, that's why I mention them all the time. You know, the youngsters now, you know, some of these guys, you go up and you say, hey, this guy did this, this and this. And they're like, well, who the hell is that? You know, so, you know, I just yeah. uh, like to throw the history out there a little bit. Yeah. You were talking about paintball news earlier, you know, yep. the magazine. And uh, yep. I was. I just happened to have, uh, oh, let's see, it's volume 12, issue 288, July 28th, 2001. And when you go back to the back page, it's a listing of all the fields. 
Yeah, yep. exactly and, right. You know, and, uh, you know, we just don't have that anymore. Everybody wants to keep, you know, all their guys to themselves. Yeah. And uh, I wish we they could used, get back to something like that. They Cooler used to send that. Paint, paintball news. They used to have the events. The calendar of events was like yeah. unbelievable. Oh, that yeah, it's oh, huge. It's a two page. It's a two page deal in there. It was. It was. But you know, I still talk to Rainy a lot. You know, Rainy mm -hmm. and I are still in touch. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I still talk to Rainy. Week, yeah. I still talk to Steve Davidson. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. we haven't yeah. we haven't lost touch. Yeah, those those are some good guys. You know, people don't understand. You know that Rainy they would send these boxes of them all the way out to California. You could go to the field two times a month and get a new yeah. paintball news and find out what yeah. the heck was going on. Oh yeah, so, yeah. I was a West Coast editor for for years with them guys, and I just I absolutely loved it. Had a great time with them. Yeah, yeah, I used to get the bundles. I used to get the bundles sent to my store like every other week. You know, they drop them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And it was, you know, it was good because you were actually getting the news quickly. Exactly yeah. right. You know, back in the day, you had to wait for like APG or whatever to put it out. Sometimes it'd be two, three months before you got a story out of it. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's, that's yeah right. three months. And then Rainey, then Rainey came out with the paper and he did a really good job with that for years. Yep. Really yeah, good job. With his wife and his daughter, they, they worked really, really hard. That's for sure. Well, well, that's why I'm glad John came out with the, you know, the DVD or the Blu-ray, whatever of the, the history of paintball. So people can know how it began. I mean, you ask these new kids, they, they have no clue. They have no idea who any of these people are. You know, you just, they go to the store, they, they pick up a new gun and they go out and play. You know, you know, you talk about Fred Schultz and, you, you know, and, and, you know, you talk about, you know, John Colby. They have no clue. We talk about Fred Schultz. <laughs> well, it's good having you on, Andy. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> oh. I went to the field and play today. So, have you heard about that Fred Schultz guy? No, everybody knows who Fred Schultz is. Oh, oh. Man. He was like, you know, I, I mean, I, just, I got kicked in the ass so hard just now. I felt it. <laughs> ah, come on. For the last few years before you came back, you were like talking about a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> well, when we go live at the uh, game this week, uh, you guys uh, streaming with uh, Steve. I'm going to uh, ask all the players walking by that come through the booth while we're doing that. Right. Do you know Fred Schultz is? Who? Yeah, so that, you're going to get a lot of that. Yeah. Well, when I film, Fred, when I film you, you're, you know, when you got your goggle systems on, that's one of the most comments that I get on there is like, dude, check out his goggles. How old are those things? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Don't you want to go there? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, actually, Freddie and, and Kiko are the ones that actually got me back into it. Um, they took me to a big game, the North South game. Um, which I was going to be the general for this year, but they canceled it now because of the COVID deal well, and the field deal. So the funny thing is, is today I got a new uh, a comment on my one of my videos on YouTube. It was the one of you coming back for North versus South, uh -huh. and and the guy goes, the guy goes, oh my god, that's Fred Schultz. He goes, I used to watch his 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 VHS that uh, I got for Brass Eagle right before we go. <laughs> that, yeah. that was, up to go play paintball he was yeah. like excited to see that you're back in the you know back in the game again so, that was that was a funny day guys you know we went out we went out there and first of all i had people coming up to me you know that uh, i hadn't seen in years but I, I had one girl come up to me and she goes can i take a picture with you because i told my boyfriend that fred schultz is here yeah i remember that <laughs> she goes i told my boyfriend fred schultz is here and he goes there's no way fred schultz is dead <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Uh, <laughs> no, right? Yeah. Uh, so I took the picture with it and she sent it to That was a pretty cool day, though. We had, we had a lot of fun that day. Got the crap shot out of me, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, just like old times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right on. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, you know, we're past our 8 o'clock thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I could sit and talk to this bunch all night. Um, you guys have been great. You really, really have, just as you always are. And uh, I just can't thank you enough. 
you know, um, Uncle Kevin, you know, you and I go back 100 years. You were my friend 30 some years ago. You'll be my friend for the next, well, to whenever we check out. That's for sure. Appreciate but I do it, want you. I do want you to work on the date for that uh, East West game. I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Like hey, I said, you know, once I'm grateful for you actually because everybody's all over my butt about that. And I go, well, Kevin's working on a date. When Kevin gets a date, I'll let you know. And they're like, oh, so Kevin did it, huh? And I go, well, you know, it is what it is, guys. I'll, I'll take I'll take the fall. I'm, I'm the fall yeah. guy on this one. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I I got. I'll, I'll take the bullet for you, Freddie. Ah, Keith Kissel's on. He says, I'm going to go down to the Decay of Nations. Well, Keith, you better go down there with me, buddy. We'll go down and kick some butt together. What up, Kiko? How are you, brother? Uh, we'll go down there together and do it to it. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night, everybody, um, the cancer benefit that uh, was going on that Rick Wilcox did, I, I guess we're all part mm. of it. Uh, Freddie, Keith, and I actually um, did a lot of the advertising for him. Tomorrow night on, on Kiko's show, um, they're going to give away the check right for on. the cancer benefit. Yeah. So um, get a chance tomorrow night, 6 o'clock uh, Pacific time. <laughs> I got to work on that Pacific time, huh, Freddie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys get a chance tomorrow night, uh, check it out. Um the name of his thing is Freddy. What, Kiko's? Yeah, oh, come on. Oh, show <laughs> is two paintball religion. There you go. Well, I'm trying to get you involved. You keep choking. You got to stop that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I still love you. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Don't you wish you were here to do that? <laughs> come on back, baby. Come on. I'm waiting now. <laughs> Well, guys, I got to tell you, it's been a great evening. Um, it really, really has. You guys, without any doubt, you guys make a show all by yourself. You guys are all terrific. Um, William, I'm going to start with you, buddy. Yep. Thank you very Look. much for coming on. Look forward to having you on every yep. week. I just I just love it's having awesome. you on. It, it, it makes it makes my day on Tuesday. Well, it, well, it, it makes, makes my night. It's like, it's not as late as Kevin, but it's pretty late here. It's yeah. like 10 o'clock. And you guys are like, well, we're going to eat dinner. Like, we still ain't eating dinner here, and it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to do what I'm done here. Obviously, I can't go to Arby's because it's too far of a drive now, but my wife hooks me up now. So <laughs> when we did it in a different place, I used to go to Arby's every night. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, all right. William, you have a good evening, buddy, and thank you so much for being here. All on. right. Everybody have a, have a great weekend, and uh, good luck, everybody. We'll see you. You too, Bill. All right. Next we'll week, guys. buddy. All right, yep. man. All right, thanks. Take see care, Bill. Yep. See you, Kevin. I'm trying to leave. I know, <laughs> and I'm trying to I'm trying to do it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Kevin, you're next, buddy. You know, we we you are very, very good to have on. People wait up just to watch you. Now, why I don't have a clue, but it works. So I'm not gonna they're question. Wait, they're waiting right? to see if I drop dead. <laughs> live. <laughs> they want to see me drop dead on live television. Live you know, he, he, even even my daughter, man. You know, she goes, "I just love watching Kevin. He's so funny." And I go, "What the hell about me?" She goes, "Yeah, Kevin's so funny." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Love you. <laughs> all right, Kevin. You have a good evening, buddy, and you stay you safe. All right, hey, Freddie. Good to see you again, little Freddie. Thanks for having <laughs> me, guys. Andy, take care. <laughs> All right, man. You take it easy, Kev. See you guys. See you, Kev. Maybe. Maybe not. If you can get rid of me. <laughs> You're hard. Oh. That's what your girlfriend said. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? No. Still hell. She's loaded. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> God. Do I Boy, Freddie, know? I wish you were sitting right here. I'd give you one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how long have we been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> For sure. No, that, that's why I tell everybody. They go, I, I says, I do it weekly. And they go, very weekly. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, guys, I got to tell you, I can't appreciate, tell you how much I appreciate you guys coming on tonight, Andy. Um, you know, it's always a treat having you on. You're, uh, I got some <laughs> some good feedback from you last week uh i still think i was a funny one but they they said you were pretty good so uh i enjoyed the hell out of it believe me 
to know where you do it and then you get Arby's, that's just too much information. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I need to tell us either. Just, yeah. Well, you know, I hope I hope uh, everything goes good. Maybe you could chime in next week, both of you guys. Um, yeah, you were terrific tonight too. I just, maybe you could chime in next week and tell us how everything went this weekend. Yeah. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because you, you're you're going to do it live this weekend. You said we're going to do live. We're going to do a live stream. You know, are you? A couple live streams while we're out there. Oh, cool. Okay, but not with Steve though, right? No, no. Steve, Steve will actually be running the show. Okay. Um, and then cool. putting them out because I don't have time to sit there and try to control. I could push the buttons better than you're doing, obviously. But it's technology. Yeah, no. You could be in another country. Makes <laughs> are really easy to use. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was damn great at it when I had Freddie doing it too. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know if you gave your bits right now, you'd probably be like, "What is it?" It's a paintball barrel, Fred. Yeah, I know. You screw it together. <laughs> but yeah, because people will be running that. Got it. Um, and then broadcasting it out, we'll just have the uh, camera and everything set up from the booth. Good. Uh, we're going to, you know, we'll grab some people, Mike, and talk about autism. And that's on Saturday now, right? By I guess, and seeing if they know who Fred Schultz is. And yeah, that's on Saturday, right? Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. Okay, that's Saturday. And one more time for everybody listening out there, tell them where it is and what time it starts. Anybody? <laughs> nine o'clock, 9 a.m. Supposed to start 9 a.m. Dynamic Paintball and Airsoft, uh, Watkins, Colorado. Uh, really I wish I knew. Of it is yeah, I wish I knew the address off there. It's five minutes from my house. I just go down the road right yeah. there. <laughs> Dynamic paintball and airsoft. Google it; you'll be able to find it. Just, just easy. Uh, you know, we're we're giving away a Clone Five Mac Dev Clone Five, uh, complete with Immortal Air Systems and uh, Virtue, Virtue control. Uh, control Bunker Kings. Actually, who does that? Bunker Kings. It's all Virtue to me. <laughs> uh, control loader as well for a, a complete marker setup uh, to one lucky winner for just you know, cost you five bucks for a ticket. Yep. Very, very cool. For eight. Very cool. Well, you know, we wish it to be a super success. Uh, I know anything you guys are throwing usually works out pretty damn good. So We've been fortunate. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you all the way. Believe me. Um, so again, guys, thank you so much for coming on tonight. I definitely appreciate it. Um, Randy, <laughs> Randy, Andy, Great. maybe you could you know, cheer up a little bit. I'm going to start calling you Randy. Oh, yeah. You know, it just, that just rolls off my lips a little bit better. I don't know. Yeah, the, you understand. You can't remember things oh. as fast, so, you know, it's okay. <laughs> right on, buddy. Oh, All right. Well, hey, thanks again for uh, – for AI, yeah, and thanks for coming over and hanging out with Andy. I know that had to be tough all by itself. It's painful. It's painful. It's so painful. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right on, guys. Hey, both you guys have a good evening and stay safe, huh? All right, thanks. All right, guys. Thanks a million. All right, buddy. Well, you got the hang of that. Finally. Yeah, it only took uh, 12 times. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next week I'll do it on my, we'll do it on my, my okay. and Andy's still laughing. <laughs> Okay, why are you laughing at me, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you almost got the hang of it. <laughs> oh, we're back. <laughs> yeah, I brought you back because right. I seen you laughing at me. We're still not on. This is just. Oh my god! Oh, I love you guys. Right on, man. No, it was. It was like, oh, he he clicked us and got rid of us real quick. <laughs> you figured that out fast. Hey, got nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what we were laughing at. We watched our screen go boop, just dis I'm like, oh, he figured it out now. Yeah, and then all of a sudden click, we're back. We're like, oh, we're we're back now. That's because they can still see us. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking right at you. I seen you laughing. I had to find out why. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping it was something I said, not the way I look. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, it was the, the whole reaction. I was just like, click, oh. That was awesome. You found the right button combination, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you guys, you guys have a good evening, huh? <laughs> All right, you All right. Stay yeah. safe. Bye bye. That was that was funny. <laughs> See, I got it down, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah, now you do. Oh my! God. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love son. it.
you clicked on and he was damn near on the ground in a fetal position cracking up oh jesus christ <laughs> yeah uh, we have we, we had a lot of people chime in here tonight. You know, Keith, uh, he's going to take me up on going down there. We'll go down there together and go kick some butt, Keith. Right um, I hope you have a good show tomorrow night. And, you know, Brad Gruitt, if you guys are out there, Brad Gruitt has a terrific podcast. Steve McGuire has a terrific podcast. Uh, Behind the Bunker, the Command Bros. Get a chance to check some of these guys out. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, Chica Strada, I got to have you on some night, buddy. You watch us every week, and you were just... Uh, your compliments really make me feel good. I got to have you on some night. So if you get a chance, get a hold of me and figure out when uh, you'd like to be on. And uh, I'll put you on. I'd love to have you on. That'd be terrific. And Kenny Stewart, thank you very much for saying a great show. I appreciate that very much. So everybody, Freddie, you want to say good night real quick? No. Cool. That was quick. <laughs> that was damn quick. <laughs> One more try. Go on. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching our show tonight. Um, I'm glad that I am back. Yeah, we took a, some time. I took some time off, but uh, I am back. Uh, I'm going to probably going to be hitting up a couple of the fields that we have here. Uh, there is a field really close to my sister's house here in West Palm Beach. Uh, and so I'm going to hit that up and talk to the owners. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see what's what we got. We don't have too much of uh, paintball stores out here. Um, for like buying markers and stuff like that, which is kind of weird, but because um, my nephew wants to get back into it, but I can't find a marker, uh, can't find a, a store. But I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see what we can do. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll, I'll donate to Andy's, you know, the the autism thing, and maybe I'll win that gun. There, there you go. go. There you go. I'm, I know I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, my, I mean, that's a deal. I mean, two two tickets for eight bucks. I mean, yep, come on, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll give it a shot. No doubt about it. Yeah. So, all right. So everybody, um, that's my little buddy, Freddie from uh, Florida, Freddie or Freddie the ref, or as I know him, Freddie Valente yep. from Florida. Um, we appreciate so much everybody watching us tonight. Uh, we know we kind of get off the rails sometime, but you know, we just, uh, we just want to have a good time and, you know, put a little information out there and, and just enjoy it a little bit. And from some of your comments, we appreciate very much uh, you guys watching us tonight, too. Well, I blame so, Kevin going off the rails. They all go off the rails. I'm the only sane one. You are not taking notes, are you? Nope. I got to work on that for you. I got to help you with that. I will write that down. Send Freddie a letter to tell him that Mr. Fred is cool. Well, okay. Today, I can't read, so there we go. Well, there you go. All right. Hey, Chica Strata said good night. Good night to you too, buddy. And you bet you I will look you up. No problem. All right. So everybody out there, again, one more time, thank you very much for watching us tonight. Uh, remember, we'll be on again next Tuesday at 7 o'clock Pacific time. And we hope that you'll chime in. Uh, best to uh, Bambi Billard. Best to Art Gonzalez. And to everybody else out there, please stay safe for all of us. Huh? So Definitely. from myself and Freddie, play hard. Play safe, play fair, but get out there and play safe paintball. You guys yep. take it easy. Bye now. Take care, guys.